The only way is up now for Bristol City, who find themselves rock bottom of Division 1. Given their poor start to the league campaign, today's meeting with Crewe, their third in 11 days, is easily the most important. Lewis Carey returns at the heart of the defence and look for Murray and Goodridge to make inroads down the right flank. Brian Tinian was on the score sheet the last time City won a league match. That was back on April the 25th. Today he wears the captain's armband for the home side. Like City, Crewe's first target this season has to be survival. And they couldn't ask for a better man to guide them to safety. Boss Dario Gradi, MBE, is the league's longest serving manager. His selection today looks potent with record signing Rodney Jack returning to link up with Mark Rivers, the two-goal destroyer of City in the Cup. So as Crewe in a chain strip of white get the game underway, there are no shortage of incentives for the home team. City looking for their first league win, looking to move off the foot of the table and seeking revenge for that midweek cup defeat. Now, referees have been un under fire again recently. Today's man in the middle is Rob Stiles, who comes from Hampshire. Touched by Wright, on by Bignett, but uh, Doherty's after it. What a vital toe in too. This is Goodridge. Options to his right, may go alone. Still Goodridge. Well, on his weaker side. Crowd loved nothing better than to see Greg Goodridge in full flight. Jack being forced backwards. Again, City pressing the ball well, but Crew also keeping it adroitly. And that's not a bad try. Antrobus stretched out a leg. Didn't really make good contact at the end of it. A good burst into the penalty area, but an early warning for Bristol City. Meanwhile, this is an excellent burst by Scott Murray. He's found Colin Crabb. Good turn. Doherty, side foot finish. 1-0 Bristol City. What a great strike. And he simply passed it into the back of the net. 13 minutes on the clock. Lucky 13 for Bristol City. And credit to Scott Murray for some great work early on in that move. But it's Doherty who gets the glory with a brilliant finish. Murray's interception and finds Akin Bae. Did well to control a difficult ball. Goodridge hoping to release Cram. Sean Smith saw it, but so too Doherty with the pass. Now forward for Akin Bae. Good strike. Again, Kearton perfectly placed. Well, Akin Bae certainly has an eye for goal, hasn't he? and looking for Akin Bay, not down for Colin Crabb. Good challenge by Unsworth. Breaks there for Goodridge. Still Greg Goodridge. Brilliant strike. Great goal by Greg Goodridge. City 2-0. And the celebrations have started. Well, the message is clear. And the shot into the bottom corner was equally decisive. But I don't know that the referee liked the celebrations. And as well as getting his name on the score sheet, Greg Goodridge is going to get his name in the notebook. This is Rivers. That's a foul. Carey, the guilty party. It's about 25 yards or so from goal. The formation of a defensive wall. It's right. But it's wrong as far as he's concerned. Smith, the second attempt, has completely polaxed Doherty. 
referee stops play so the midfielder can get some treatment and that was a fearsome blow but he bravely took the full force of it so poke forward now Watts is under pressure from Rodney Jack well that certainly wasn't the finish of a half million pound man Crew's best chance of the game Jack snatched at it and City escape. Tinian forward for Akin Bay. Edwards to Colin Cram. Far post is Scott Murray. Good header back across goal. Walton's there. Murray retrieves it. Doherty wants to edge of the box. Murray goes alone. And who can argue with that? Three up for City. And it's a case of crisis. What crisis at Ashton Gate? Wonderful football. Some brilliant finishing. And Scott Murray, well, he's on top of his game at the moment. And that's a great strike. having his shirt pulled and the referee has spotted it and wants a word with Dave Walton booking for the crewman three in the wall but I don't know whether Tinian or Bell will go for goal from this area it favours the shot from the right footer so it's maybe a cross well Tinian's fooled me and nearly fooled the keeper Murray, away from Rivers, still Scott Murray, bent in low, just too far ahead of Graham. Touch of any kind would have done. Right again with the kick, the an out swinger towards Anthrobus. Kenny Lunt pulled it down nicely. Second attempt, that's a good cross. Anthrobus, what a volley, what a goal. Steve Anthrobus makes it 3 1. Well, that was clinical finishing. Eventually, crew clear their lines, but here comes City once more. Tinian. Akinbai wants it, Akinbai gets it, Akinbai makes it 4-1 and as he says the only way is up, well Bristol City are certainly going up off the bottom of the table and the top scorer with the icing on the cake, his eighth goal of the season and arguably one of his easiest. free again and once more he applies the perfect finish and once more City's lack of composure at the back really is exposed Smith measuring the cross not so the pass which was seized upon by Anderson that's a, a good ball for Akinbaye, he's got Unsworth to beat. Still Akinbaye, and still! Oh, what a great try. All his own work, it had to be. There was no one else in a red yard. Akinbaye held it up nicely for Tinian. Anderson against Walton. Being forced across the penalty area. Tinian with a cross, Hutchings may be there, it's five! And Hutchings surely now has finished it. 
Well, the distinctive dreadlocks, but Crew could do nothing to get to Carl Hutchings, and the header unerringly into the net finally secures Bristol City's first win. Did the fact that you'd gone to the bottom of the table give you an added incentive? You didn't fancy staying there for long. Well, the, the lads had obviously been down for the last three or four weeks and they uh, began getting a bit of stick. And uh, I think today we proved that we're, we're not as bad as bottom of the league. The fans got behind you as well. And, and what was the old story of the T-shirts there? <laughs> to be honest, I never knew about the T-shirts until I seen them. First time I've ever seen a player booked for wearing a T-shirt. Had he got a spelling mistake on it or something? I Greg can't spell anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. But it's all right, we've got the three points, so we're all delighted. Some great goals in the collection of five. I'm sure you're very pleased with yours. I can't believe it, to be honest. I've, I've cut him from the right-hand side and kicked up my left. I was expecting it to go in row Z, but it's went in the top corner and I was obviously delighted. My first career goal.